How are you doing today? Hi, Steve. I'm well. How are you? It is very nice to see you again to talk about the morning show. Thank you. Same. Uh, so I'm going to start with I've seen all of season two. Uh, it's fantastic. I think that fans are going to love it, and I'm done. I will see you later. You, you made my day. <laughs> um, as someone now who has seen all of season two, um, I'm going to ask this as a fan. Uh, where are you in the development of season three? Because I'm ready. Well, we are still dealing with season two. Uh, season three, who knows? You know, we are, I'm still, I'm mixing season I'm I'm mixing episode ten on Monday. Uh, I'm still dropping music in. <laughs> you know, um, you saw it in a very kind of naked state, and I'm still thrilled that you liked it so much. Um, it's it's really hard to imagine what season three will be, still being in season two. No, I I completely get it, and yeah, I, I've seen enough in rough rougher conditions than what I watched. See the ending of season, you know what I mean? It, it's yes. still so easy to follow because um, it's about the acting and about the dialogue and the characters. It's not about sp some special effects, you know? Right, exactly. And um, even though we did use a lot of sleight of hand to make you feel like you were in Italy and, uh, you know, on the streets of Italy and Vegas and, and New York, we never left L.A., no, no, totally. I, I noticed that, but, you know, I wasn't going to say anything. Um, so you, you directed, I believe, four episodes in season two. Yeah. Um, so I'm, and I'm curious, how did you decide which episodes that you wanted to helm? And did you cherry pick any? Because you're like, well, I want I want that one. Yeah, I cherry pick, of course. Um, I wanted, obviously, to do the first two. It's like a movie. You just... You know, um, it was important to, to explore the beginning of the season. It was very important to do the finale. And I really wanted to do the episode where um, where Alex uh, goes to Italy. And uh, I really wanted to explore that storyline with Mitch Kessler, you know, because we do not exonerate him. We do not forgive him. Um, and it's just really an interesting storyline when you've had a relationship with somebody for 15 years who's done horrible things and do you still have love for that person does you know alex actually has gone there for him to refute what's going to be in that tell-all book and you know you look at this this disaster of a relationship and of a life um and you think can things be what they used to be and they can never be what they used to be. And, um, you know, it's interesting. Do you stop loving a person who's done such horrible things? Yeah, and, and I think that's one of the things the show does very successfully is dealing with these things that normally maybe get pushed off and you don't confront. But uh, I'm curious, so you originally start filming the series when COVID hits, and then all of a sudden you have to shut down, and I know the scripts got reworked. I'm curious, how much did the storyline what was, for example, the original finale of season two, or do you, had you not figured that out yet in terms of, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I don't remember what it was, honestly. I don't, it was not written yet. Uh, you know, a lot of the scripts had been written. And, you know, we just, I, you know, it was very important to explore identity. And when COVID hit, the world changed, and we had to change with it. So it was very, very important to incorporate COVID and 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 deal with it in the in the time period that we understood because you know we understood it from the from three months before you know our care you know our characters uh we could tell that story up to when we shut down when COVID hit and we understood that we wanted to tell the story before that happened before the revolution, before George Floyd's murder, before Black Lives Matter. We wanted, we understood that. We didn't know where we were going to be when we aired. We, no one knew we were going to still be in COVID, right? Everybody thought it would be over, but it's not. <laughs> and who knows when it will be over. But um, it was a, you know, it was a kind of tough decision to make in terms of how much of COVID do you talk about, you know? And, you know, with the press also being caught off guard, 
we're a new show and we could reflect and tell that story. Yeah, and you did it very well. Um, I already got to stop. I'm just going to oh. I'm going to say congrats on the season and Thank you. I, and I hope you're making season 3 soon.